how to use the Chattanooga Vector Genesis to do a microcurrent treatment. This is a video showing how to use the Vectra Genesis for the um, microcurrent. So from the home screen, click on electrotherapy. And from electrotherapy, choose microcurrent and the edit button. It's quite frankly very simple. We're going to be using the pads method, but let me show what happens when you push probe. You get a little sound here. And we do not have a probes, but it would be useful for biofeedback. Switch back to pads. You can choose polarity negative or alternating or positive. Um, on this particular unit, it doesn't matter what you choose. Most medium frequency you would have liked to have chosen alternating. The frequencies that we're going to be setting this to would be dependent on what we want. If we're trying to get rid of pain, we need to go a high frequency and a high intensity. For healing, we go a very low amount of frequency and a low intensity. The pad setup is around the area of pain. You can set it up so that you have actually a interferential setup for the pain treatment or channel 1 and channel 2. So I could bring in channel 2 if I wanted to. However, um, you'd have to set up the whole thing separately and I'll show that in a minute. So essentially under frequency, just bring it up as high as you want. Um, above 30 is the rule. I've noticed that if the person is going to feel it, which is very rare, it's going to be in like the 900 range when they're going to be feeling it. So I tend to go up until they can feel it. So I'll just put it at 871 right now. Then the intensity I bring up again as high as it's allowed. This one goes beyond the limit. Uh, you're allowed to go up to 600 according to the notes. However, this one will keep going all the way up. And I think it goes all the way to 900. Uh, yeah, nope, to a thousand. Okay, so if the person feels it, that's great. If they don't, uh, there's still a, a treatment property that's going on there. If once you set these settings, let's say you hit start, your timer will begin. If you would like to switch over to a second channel, you look down at this screen here. It's very hard to see with this camera, but basically it says channel run one is running, channel two is available. You can hit the home screen and you can actually choose a different channel. So I'm going to select channel 2, so I don't know if you can see this. It's hard to take a picture of a screen, but now it's selected on channel 2. And then I would just go through the whole process again, and all this while I'm going to set up microcurrent now on channel 2 and bring up the whole thing. So just to let you know, you can have uh, two separate channels going on at the same time.